Hey guys. Hi. I'm ben. And I'm Tommy. And we are once again back talking board games. We are. Like we always do, except that one time we didn't talk board games. No, and I kind of wish we times. I wish we did though. You you I had a bowl it. of cereal instead <laughs> of talking. It's really good cereal, man. Nothing gets a spot cereal. like cereal. You know what one, I had for dinner today? One AM cereal. Reese's puffs. When was the last time you had Reese's puffs? Does a rice krispie treat count? No. <laughs> Not even a little oh, bit. Oh, Reese's puffs. Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> Rice Krispies. <laughs> different, different. See, this is why we talk board games, not cereal. Oh, okay. yes. A- anyways, speaking of board games. Speaking of Rice Krispie Treats. Speaking of, no, we're not talking about cereal anymore. <laughs> I already embarrassed myself enough with my lack of cereal knowledge. <laughs> we are talking about an expansion. What are your thoughts on expansions? I love expansions. More is always better, right? No, not necessarily. But if there's a game that I really, really enjoy, mm-hmm. I want to be able to have a different experience every time I play it. And expansions really help. Yeah. Well, that would be the very reason I picked up the role player expansion, which I have repurposed the box into nice artwork. So let's go ahead and talk about this expansion and if it really did warrant purchase. Sure. We'll see after we explain the game. Okay. So, the expansion, it comes with... There's really not much difference. Yeah, it, it comes with a bunch of extra stuff. That, that same thing that you said, you want more of it. You have more classes, items. you have more items in the market, you have more backstories, more mm-hmm. alignment cards, uh, more characters that you can be, different races. More dice, even. Different kinds of dice. Different kinds of dice. Got more, the power yeah. dice. Yeah. Um, but the main difference here is going to be the monsters that you're fighting. Yes. And the monsters and minions. Uh, at the start of each game, you're going to pick one of, I believe, six different monsters. And then you pick one of three uh, locations, objectives, and attacks for that monster. And then you stack up some of the minions, take a couple out, and pretty much ready to go. That is the right. uh, the biggest difference in addition to the game. And all you're going to be doing is taking turns, rather than buying items from the market, fighting the monster... Uh, in minions. lieu of. In lieu of, You yes. can still buy items from the market. Yeah, if you choose to forego that action, that opportunity, you can go fight the minion, mm-hmm. collecting XP, a couple other bonuses, and gaining knowledge about this monster uh, per this location, objective, and attack right. cards right. that will benefit you when you fight it. And then come the end of the game, you roll a bunch of dice, and you see if you attacked it and killed it. Yes. Am I missing anything? Nope, that's, that's pretty, pretty, much, pretty it. much it. There's yeah. probably some other minor things in here that you missed but that people are going to attack you for. Probably. Probably not. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, but all in all, this really... And, and one of the things I think about a, that, that works with a great... Exp- one of the things that makes an expansion <laughs> great is what Good. I'm trying to say. You said it. <laughs> got, it got it out. Is if you can make the game better without making the game longer or adding like extra steps or phases or anything like that. And this does mm. it really well. You know, yeah. yes, there's that extra the extra cards that you have, but it's really like, okay, none of these items work for me. I really don't need to sell any more cards. Yeah, I don't I'm loaded with cash. I think I'll just fight. Mm-hmm. I'll fight this guy. I'll get some gold, I'll get some experience. Maybe I'll get some extra stuff along the way. And yeah. it's like that. Your turn yeah, it's, it's the same amount of time, essentially, as it would to buy. Yeah. So time-wise, doesn't add anything. And you made a good point. What makes an expansion good for you is that. What makes an expansion really good for me is if you can throw it into the base game, and if you were to teach someone new... Nobody would know. No one would know. Yeah. No one's like, oh, that, that... Can we, that, that's can an we play without right? part of this stuff? That, the, I don't yeah. know. So if you're adding like layered on boards and stuff, or it's like a whole nother sidetrack that you're worried about. Right. Those type of things where it kind of draws suspicion. This doesn't. Well, especially if it's something where you don't even need to do it, right? It's optional. You don't need to fight that monster at all. You could completely spend your whole game doing just the base game. And if you get lucky, you get a couple good rolls at the end and cool. Get a couple points, but that's right. It's almost an optional. Yeah. Path and, and that, you may that, not do very good if you don't pursue it well, but that XP really makes it. You know, okay, now I can spend this XP to do. You can spend five XP to take any action. Any action. Any any of your dice. Your your which normally you're limited to very few of. Yeah, technically, 
three unless you have a skill card or something that lets well, you. Well, not even because you have to place your initial dice and you don't get those. If you choose not to, yeah. Abilities. Like, I guess. Yeah. So it, it just it adds more. Without adding more. Without adding more time, without I adding more complexity. Yes, adds it more adds without more without adding more. Adding more. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, that, that we don't want to beat this horse to death. Like, that's it. That's that's the expansion. That's what it does. That's what you get. That's how I feel about it. In the end, I would say if you love role player, go get it. Oh, for sure. If you're playing role player a lot, go get it. If you feel like you want to make role player maybe a little more gamey, yeah. go get it. But if you're happy with role player and you don't feel the need for any of that, role player is still a great game. Yeah, it honestly, it doesn't like make this game. I wouldn't say that, you know, this isn't one mm-hmm. of those expansions where it's like role player, role player with expansion. Yeah. It's like role player, role player with expansion. Oh, you're playing role player without the expansion. Uh, yes. ah, oh, mm. simpleton. How could you? Yes. <laughs> no, that's no, not it's, it at all. It's really it it does what it does. It it makes the game a little bit more without adding too much more. <laughs> For the third time, yes. I'm going to use that all the time now. <laughs> where Anyways, it doesn't even apply. Doesn't... That expansion is definitely more without more. <laughs> you know, game night was a good more without more experience. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, but no, no I, check it out yeah. or don't check it out. I mean, I wouldn't say that you're missing, missing too much without playing you know. it. You know. You know if you want and need this or not. So yeah. If you're thinking your about it, just do it. But... If you don't really care, then it's not gonna. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's so... no. I mean, it's it. That's what it is. I mean, yeah. you you have those expansions where it's like this game is nothing without the expansion. This game works really well without the expansion. The expansion yeah. works and is good, yeah. and doesn't change my opinion of the game that much at all. But for the better. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, but that is. Role player. Monsters and Minions. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.